tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News. Good afternoon, Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey for WKYT. Police are paying visits to several Southern Kentucky gas station food marts in what they're calling an organized retail crime investigation. At least five stores in Somerset are now closed while police investigate. Now we're told it has to do with items from larger stores ending up on the shelves of smaller stores. WKYT's Phil Pendleton is tracking the situation in our top story at 1230. Phil? Well, Fast Check Foods just behind the Pulaski County Courthouse is one of five stores that we are told has a very significant police presence this morning. This is one of five stores now closed after police have been seen going in and out this morning. Now, we're trying to track down exactly what is going on, and officials say they cannot release much information, but we know that it's the result of six indictments being unsealed targeting 10 individuals. Now, some of the allegations deal with food stamp fraud, others with solicitation to theft. It stemmed from Somerset police launching an investigation into allegations of stolen items from local retailers. But Kentucky law makes it very clear that uh, vendors are only to sell appropriate items. And, and again, the facts for each case will speak for themselves. But again, we, uh, six, in six indictments, 10 total individuals were indicted. And we are planning on going to the courthouse and getting a copy of those unsealed indictments later this morning. Once we do, we will pass on to you exactly the nature of these allegations. But for now, in Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you. And we've learned one of the alleged victims in the scheme is the Somerset Kroger. Well, we require a little patience with our weather. It's another kind of cold and cloudy day across the region right now. Ah, but the good news, there's better weather on the way. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is here with an early check of the forecast. Micah? Well, the early check isn't too bad of a check. We're still looking outside, trying to look down at the ground to see if we see anything falling, kind of uh, uh, looking for those flakes to be falling. When you're looking up in the sky, you can't really tell with that. Those clouds is the background. So that's what we're checking out. I don't see anything. Now, here's the deal. You got to look down toward the southeast to actually see some fall down toward the ground, the rooftops, maybe even some cars, and even some roadways, too, in the higher elevations down in southeastern Kentucky. We're talking 20, uh, 2,500 feet up. Yeah, it's pretty high. So it's easy to get those flakes hitting the ground up there and also sticking, too. So you just got to be watching out for that. But really, it's in the mountains down in southeastern Kentucky. It'll last another few hours, then slowly fade away. Temperatures are in the 30s. It's pretty cold, but not too cold. Not cold enough to have anything stick around about 90% of us. Going in toward the afternoon, we're still holding on to those 30s. So holding on to the cold weather will get the snow talk on out of here, bringing a lot of sunshine for consecutive days, not just one and then bring more snow in, consecutive days, and I'll show you that off into your weekend, just a few minutes. Micah, thank you. A Kentucky animal rights group is nursing a dog back to help following an extreme case of animal abuse. Now, we do want to warn you, you might find some of this video disturbing. According to Saving the Animals of Rowan County, or STAR, two Dobermans were found chained up behind a home one of them died, but the other, named Lola, survived. Star is trying to raise money for Lola's care. The sheriff's office says they're investigating, but they haven't released much information yet. A man accused in a shooting in a Walmart parking lot headed to court this morning. Michael Edward pleaded not guilty during an arraignment in Clay County this morning. Police say Edward shot Richmond Lawson during an argument over property on Monday. Lawson was flown to UK Hospital where he's listed in critical condition. Edward's charges include attempted murder. He is back in court on December 15th. Earlier this week, we told you about human remains found along the Kentucky River in Jessamine County. It's the third time that human remains have been found by an, in an area river over the last three months or so. Kentucky's chief medical examiner, Dr. Tracy Corey, says it's uncommon for this many remains to be found in such a short time period. Well, Jessamine County, that case is considered a homicide. Dr. Corey says that's not always the reason. It really runs the gamut. Sometimes it's uh, someone who has actually died of natural causes and just died outside and, and they, their remains haven't been found. The other remains include an arm found in Henry County and a foot that was found in Carroll County. All three cases are still under investigation. 
A messy crash closed a southern Kentucky road this morning. It happened just after 3 this morning on Kentucky 90 in Wayne County near the Pulaski County line. State police say a log truck and a car crashed and then a semi wrecked trying to avoid that mess. No one was hurt. A couple has filed a lawsuit against the wife of a man accused of placing a hidden camera in their bathroom. Police say Timothy Payne put the camera in David and Kathy Wall's Danville home last year. He's charged with voyeurism. The couple filed a civil suit against him last April. Now they're suing his wife, claiming she was complicit in the act. The Advocate Messenger reports the lawsuit will likely be on hold until the criminal case against Payne is resolved. A scam alert for recent home buyers. The Kentucky Attorney General says that solicitors are trying to sell them copies of their property deeds for excessive fees. The official looking mailings come from a place called Record Transfer Services. The AG's office says the mailing is asking for $83 for the copies, but you can get them from your county clerk for just a nominal fee. Well, there's evidence that the brain doesn't treat all sugars the same. And people taking high doses of insulin for their type 2 diabetes are at an increased risk of dying. Ebony Williams has details in this Better Living report. A new study finds a link between high doses of insulin and increased risk of cancer, heart attack, or stroke. British researchers tracked the medical history of nearly 6,500 patients with type 2 diabetes. They say patients getting higher doses could be sicker from the start, but studies show insulin may increase the growth rate in tumors, thicken arteries, and cause irregular heart rhythms. Restricting surgical residence hours does not improve patient outcomes, according to a new study from Northwestern Medicine. New restrictions set up in 2011 require residents to get eight hours off between shifts and work no longer than a 16-hour day. But the study found the rules disrupted the continuity of caring for surgical patients and had the unintended effect of hurting patient safety and resident education. And new research finds the brain responds differently to two different kinds of sugar. California scientists found fructose provokes hunger and a stronger motivation to eat, while glucose promotes the feeling of being full. And those are some of the day's top health stories. Ebony Williams, CBS News, New York. Now, a traffic alert today for drivers using New Circle Road. The road will close at Old Frankfurt Pike at 1.30 this afternoon, and that's for blasting. If you have to travel New Circle between Versailles and Leestown Roads, officials recommend that you take a detour. The closure will last about 20 minutes. The blasting will take place twice a day for the next few weeks. It's all part of a project to widen New Circle. Have some patience, patience <laughs> if you're out there. Yes. <laughs> Trying to do that at uh, 10 in the morning and around 2 or so in the afternoon, but again, 1.30 on the blast this afternoon. Yes.